In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Sodium to any version of Minecraft on your Mac. Before we get started, it's important to note that you will need to have Java installed to your Mac. So if you don't have it already, I will leave that tutorial linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is to download the correct Minecraft version files so we can install Sodium later. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and then you want to select the version of Minecraft you want to install Sodium to. So for this example, it's 1.21.4. Once Minecraft has opened, this means the files have been downloaded, so we can go ahead and quit the game, and now we just need to download Fabric. To download Fabric, which is the modding platform we use to install Sodium, we first need to open our web browser, and you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave this website linked in the description below. From here, you want to click on the download button, and then you want to click on the download installer button, and then you want to go ahead and download the Fabric installer to your Mac, and for this example, I'm going to download it to my desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API so our mods run correctly. So to do this you want to click on the Fabric API link underneath the download button and this will take you to the CurseForge website. From here you want to click on the Files tab and then you want to scroll down and you want to select the version of the Fabric API you are trying to run Minecraft on. So for this example it's going to be 1.21.4. So we're going to click on this and then you want to click on the download button and after about 5 seconds the download should automatically start. So you want to go ahead and download the Fabric API to your Mac, and again I'm going to download it to my desktop. The final thing we need to download is the Sodium mod. So to do this you want to open your web browser, and you want to go to a modern website of your choice, and for this example we are using modroof.com. From here you want to scroll down and you want to click on discover mods, and then you want to find the Sodium mod which should be listed near the top. Once you're on the mod web page you want to click on the versions tab, and then you want to scroll down and you want to find the version you want to run Sodium for. So again, for this example, we want 1.21.4 and you want to make sure it is selected for the Fabric platform. So we're going to click on this and then you want to click on the green download button and again, you want to download it to your Mac. Now we've downloaded Fabric, the Fabric API and Sodium, we just need to go ahead and install Fabric. So to do this, you want to open the Fabric installer and if you get this error message, it means we need to approve it in our system settings. So to do this, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and then you want to click on system settings. Once you're inside your system settings, you want to scroll down until you find privacy and security. Now you want to scroll all the way down of that menu until you find the fabric installer listed. And you want to go ahead and click on open anyway. Now you want to click on open anyway. And then you may need to use your Mac password or touch ID. After a few seconds, it will successfully open and it will look like this. From here, we just need to make sure we're on the client tab at the very top. And in the Minecraft version menu, you want to select the version of Minecraft you want to install Sodium for. So for this example, it's 1.21.4. And for the loader version, you just want to select the latest version. Now you want to make sure Create Profile has been selected. And once we're ready, you want to click on Install. It will take a couple of seconds to install. And once it's done, you get this message. So you want to click on OK. And now you can exit out of the Fabric installer. And you can delete it from your Mac if you'd wish to do so. Now we've installed Fabric, we just need to go ahead and install the Fabric API and our Sodium mod. So to do this you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and then you want to click on installations at the top and you should see the Fabric loader. If you don't see this you want to restart your Minecraft launcher. From here you want to click on the file icon next to the Fabric loader, and this will open your Minecraft installation folder. Now you want to go ahead and find the mods folder, and if you don't have one you may need to create one. So to do that you want to click on the circle icon at the top, and click on new folder, and you want to rename it mods. Once you've done this, you want to go inside the mods folder, and now we simply need to drag and drop the Fabric API and Sodium mod into this folder. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the file installation, and we can go ahead and play Minecraft with our mods. So to do that, you want to click on the play tab, and then underneath the profile drop down menu, you want to make sure you've selected Fabric Loader. Once you've done this, you want to click on play. Now to access the Sodium settings, you want to click on the options button, and then you want to click on video settings, and you'll notice they have now changed to the Sodium video settings. So you want to go ahead and change these to whatever you'd like. Once we've done this, we can select done. And now we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with Sodium just as we normally would. And that's it. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.